Hi guys, just wanted to show you a little bit the maintenance of this Yeti Cube. I'm using this now since a couple of months and I'm in general super happy with it. Maybe it's not the absolute perfect robot, but it's pretty close to that. The only thing which I miss is maybe a camera here built in. But other than that, it has pretty much everything which you could imagine and it works really super super reliable it usually doesn't bump into things it hasn't caused any damage and it never got stuck i think till now so that's one of my most important things so let's go to the maintenance so we have the water tank here and every time after using it for mopping it leaves a lot of dirty water here inside and so it's very important to clean it and rinse it right after that. What's awesome here compared to other wet vacuums is that there is only water here inside. It's super dirty water, but it's only water. There is no dust or so. It cannot clog anything. So we can just pour it down the drain. You don't have to be really careful with that. And it works really good. It has even a stopping mechanism here if it overfills, but it has never done this. So after pouring the dirt water out, rinsing it, I let it dry for a day or so. And only after that, I put it back. What's really important important is that we properly close it really important otherwise it cannot give any suction otherwise it won't be able to pull out the water from here then we have this lid here and here we have this dust bag and the vacuum has to cover an area of more than 1000 square feet and this vacuum is running now once or twice per week since exactly half a year and there is still some space here inside because the vacuum the suction is super super strong when the vacuum goes back into the station and all the dirt is pulled up here there's a super strong vacuum so it's compressing this a lot so till now i didn't have to do anything here but of course in a couple of months it will be time to replace this thing here so actually i never had to open this part here but now let's check the other parts. What's good here is we can just pull it out. You don't have to carry it. And so here we have the water tank after the last usage. You can see it has pretty much used all the water up. So what I sometimes do, maybe every month or so, I pour out the remaining water and let it fully dry and only after that fill it up. But usually I just fill it up. The water tank itself, I would say, looks in pretty good condition. There is absolutely nothing to see. I've just been using normal water. As far as I know, there is some special liquid which you can use for this. But you can't just use normal cleaning agents which you use for your floor. Otherwise, the robot vacuum will slip on the ramp. By the way, when I open, drain it and let it air dry, I remove it also from here that everything here can fully dry. So till here, everything is super simple, straightforward. Absolutely no problem so far. So let's go a little bit to the more tricky parts. That's the dustbin which we have here. And so let's look into that. You usually don't have to do anything here after normal cleaning, but I would say every month or at least every two months, it's highly recommended to do a cleaning of this filter or the whole compartment. So we can open this here by pushing this button and you can see there is a little bit of dust left here inside, but not a lot. But we can see that there is some dust also in the filter. And so I have it here. Light is definitely not the best, but I hope you can still see that. Let's remove this outer part here. And so we have the mesh here inside. We have this soft filter and we have this larger filter. And so we use just a duster. Also for this one here. And of course also for the inside. And at least according to these instructions, looks like we could even wash all these parts here, let them dry and put them back. Maybe we'll do that next time. But here in this case, I just push it back this filter on top, close it, put it back into the robot vacuum. After that, we can just easily push it back. So that works absolutely awesome. I never had any issue with this dust container here. So let's turn it around. Let's see how this looks. 
Also here I would say this mopping pad has been working absolutely awesome. I just put it here when I installed the whole device, but after that I never had to do anything with it. It cleans it, washes it, dries it automatically in the station. I don't have anything to do with it, but here are three parts which we have to maintain on a regular base. That's the main brush and the side brushes. The main brush itself keeps itself pretty clean, much cleaner than what I've seen from other robot vacuum cleaners. Most robot vacuum cleaners collect a lot of hair here inside, which is definitely difficult to remove here on this vacuum robot. Most of the hair is stuck on the side brushes. It doesn't even really compromise the cleaning, but I still clean it every now and then. Take a towel and remove most of the hair. You don't have to remove everything. It doesn't have to be super clean, but usually do it like that. Put it into trash bag. And the other side, same thing. Of course, you could also totally remove this thing. If you want to do thorough cleaning, you can also use a cutter, something like that. Okay, it just took me about two minutes. You can see, pretty clean again. Now we can easily push it down again. And also center brush is easy to clean. You can easily take it out, cut the hair with a knife, something like that. Remove everything. Also on the outside, super easy to do here. And also on this side. What's good is also that I've never lost a part. With some other robot vacuums, I've lost some parts. Here that has never happened. But of course, always be careful. Don't do this on top of a dustbin or so. And so we push it here inside and down. Close it again. And so we are ready for another two months or so easily. So again, it's not only reliable, but also very, very low maintenance that's also what i like so even though when we have a lot of hair on the brushes it works still very very good and also the mopping performance is way above my expectations honestly i didn't expect a lot of cleaning from this mopping pad but because it does a lot of vibration and even during the cleaning process it goes back to the charging station a couple of times to go and rinse and so it's capable to pick up a lot of new dirt so it definitely does a very very good job i'm so Super happy with it definitely also with the app very easy to use and so even after half a year i could not really complain about anything actually couldn't be happier than with this robot vacuum cleaner if this would break at any time i think i would buy just the exactly same thing again and so full recommendation from my side and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time